about world records today. Alright? Anyone who read the Guinness Book of World Records? I love it myself. Always go for it about Christmas time, find out what new world records have been done. Does anybody know who the, the tallest person is currently living at the moment? Anybody know who it is? Uh, this, guy, this fella here, this Turkish fella. He's eight foot two. Eight foot two, look at him, trying to get in that taxi there. That's mad that, isn't it? And uh, he's not the tallest person that's ever lived though, there's been much bigger people. But look at the size of him there, he's mad that, isn't it? Like little yellow taxi. And, it, and can you imagine trying to squeeze in there? It'd be a nightmare for him. Everyone thinks he's great being tall, but it's not when you've got somewhere to go, is it? Uh, but you know, there's been bigger people than that in the past. You've probably heard of the guy Goliath, nine foot nine, who King David slew with a, a stone. We've all heard the story of David and Goliath, haven't you? Uh, they've actually found some bones of uh, a guy called, named him Patagon, they found in Patagonia, who was 15 feet tall, which is amazing when you look at like, the, the bones and uh, they're in some Smithsonian Museum somewhere. Uh, but we're going to see if we can have a go at beating any world records today. I've got 10p, all right, and if you can keep this 10p spinning for more than 25 seconds, then you will have broken a world record right there, because the record is 25 seconds for a 10p spin. And I'll even let you keep the coin. Anyone have a go at trying to beat that world record? Spinning a coin for 25 seconds. Do you want to go? Hey, spin it on the floor for two. Someone will have to hold the vibe because you're going to have to go like that, aren't you? Here we go. World record attempt, everybody. Here we go. Give it two hands. That's rolling. <laughs> like, like this, where you go, you know, spinning it, yeah? And then I go, choo. There we go. Right, two seconds, that was <laughs> Anybody want to try beat two seconds? <laughs> uh, you do need a flat surface, go on. Let's see if you can beat two seconds. Yeah, yeah, just give it a good spin. 25 seconds is the world record, everybody. We're going to see history done here on the streets of Harrogate. Let's get it on there. <laughs> here we go. It's not going to stay on there, I'm sure. Right, where we are? We need to be cut on him. I need two seconds. I'm sure I can be better than that. Otherwise. Three, one, two, three, four. Ah, oh, then it got stuck in a ditch. <laughs> Here we go, just gonna try again. So everybody, if you pass it back, we're trying to beat the world record for the longest 10p spin. 25 seconds is the record. That's not bad, you beat me, you got about five seconds. So it's very difficult, isn't it? It's amazing to think. I've got the best world record ever that I'm gonna reveal in a minute. But we'll have a look at these other ones first. So 25 seconds, that's pretty good going, isn't it? Another great world record is that. Uh, the Rubik's Cube! Anybody want to have a go at trying to beat the Rubik's Cube? Solve this Rubik's Cube in less than 3 minutes 47 seconds. Anybody think they can do that? I used to be able to do that. But guess what? The world record isn't 3 minutes 47 seconds. It's 3 seconds! 3.47 seconds! Can you imagine that? Somebody doing it in 3. Unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, this guy here, you Sheng Du. Got solved one of these in just 3 and a half seconds. That's an amazing world record, but that's not the best world record ever either. This guy held his breath underwater for, can you see what it says on there? That's what's that one. 24 minutes and 37 seconds. World record. Brilliant, isn't it? Unbelievable. This guy's got like a, a, a 900 pound uh, rubber band ball that he spent ages putting together. That's a pretty impressive record. But none of them are the world's best world record. Do you know what the world's best world record is? It is somebody, the world's best record is being dead for four days and then coming back to life again. Now, not some people, you know, been dead for like a few minutes, haven't they? They've been resuscitated. But this guy, a guy called Lazarus, was dead for four days and then he was brought back to life. Do you know who brought him back to life? It was a man called Jesus. Jesus raised him back from the dead after four days. Now, that's significant, that, because people thought that after three days, you know, your soul leaves your body and that's it. There's no hope for you. But Jesus went one extra and he did it after four days, which proves that he is what he said he was. While he was on the way to the tomb, he's speaking to Mary and Martha and he said, Listen, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he be dead, he shall live. There's a life beyond this life that uh, Jesus has made a way for us to enter into eternity in heaven. And he's proved it by not just raising other people from the dead, like Lazarus, world record there, four days. But raising himself up. After three days, he rose himself up. He was on the cross. He died, didn't he? Why did he die? Because nasty people put him there, the Jews had put him there, the Romans had nailed him to the cross. No, he died because he wanted to die for you. And he wanted to die for me. That's why Jesus died on the cross. He took all that pain, 
all that mental torture of our sins, the whole sins of the world, the worst things that have ever been committed, Jesus paid for them. Why did he do that? So that we can be set free. So that we can go to heaven. So that we can be with him. And that's a beautiful hope that we have. And I just want to share that with you. And if anybody wants to come and take a John's Gospel of me or some other literature, then please do. If you've got a Bible here, I'm sure Billy will give it up. Uh, so if anybody wants to take anything of the Bible from us today, please do uh, come and take some literature and do chat to us. Thank you very much.